So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Julian Tong. Uh, I'm an associate professor in the chemical and biomolecular engineering uh, at uh, Georgia Tech. So um, I I graduated uh, as a graduate student from Georgia Tech and then um, worked in the industry for two years and then back to the academia um, from another university, University of Florida. Um, for 10 years. So two years ago, I came back to Georgia Tech, so take the position of my advisor. <laughs> That's my uh, personal background. So uh, today, I would like to talk a little bit about like um, my thought about my research area, uh, circular chemicals and functional biomaterials derived from the renewable resources. So um, when I talk about this, um, I would like talking about some challenges, sustainable challenges. So we have faced like a widespread sustainable challenges. For example, um, like climate change, we always uh, we always talk about. So we're talking about the uh, energy and the natural resources are becoming um, disappeared. Um, with the uh, population growth, and the pollution is a long-term prob uh, problem, threat to human and animal health, such as like emerging contaminants in water system, food spoilage, food safety, and the nutrients, um, uh, like nitrogen phosphate that is rich in the water for nutrification. But anyway, um, we still have the problem for the nutrients um, like we have limited uh, nutrients like nitrogen, nitrogen and phosphate that is uh, con consumable, not renewable. So, um, and also uh, another thing, except like all these resources and energy and uh, environmental food, like all these sustainable problems. So we also need aware of uh, uh, that. So the growth of the population and the development of the model societies result like a huge amount of waste produced. So it's joined of waste, like uh, a municipal waste, forest waste, agricultural waste that was produced. So uh, my research is trying to convert this type of the waste into the uh, valuable uh, products. Like we mentioned that circular chemicals and uh, uh, materials, um, functional materials. So actually my research um, interest and I see in like two aspects. First thing um, is uh, mainly focus on the self-assembly or functionalization of the renewable resources from these low cost renewable resources to multiple functional materials. So to address address the emerging environmental energy and food safety issues. So the second of uh, aspect of my research uh, focus, focus on the catalytic conversion of renewable resources, mainly nignocellulose, like biomass waste, to our biochemicals to replace the uh, petroleum-based uh, counterparts. So uh, what I try to do is like uh, harness the power of natural bounty. So what we can get from nature, so um, all these whatever bio waste materials, so uh, they are abundant bio waste materials. We can produce like uh, different type of the chemicals and uh, uh, materials that can be um, used for different kind of applications. So meanwhile, we can minimize our um, reliance on the um, finite uh, fossil fuels and reducing the carbon emission. So some example of my study, like uh, for example, uh, one example is like uh, um, I have several projects working on uh, making the um, uh, aromatic mon monomers like vanillin and aromatic acid that can be used as a, uh, like a, a chemicals or, um, or polymer uh, precursors that can be uh, replaced the petroleum based uh, uh, polymers and also uh, part of them can use for the hydrocarbon fuels and aviation fuels so what i trying to do is like uh, we are designing the new catalyst that can be uh, selectively collaborate the bonds of these biopolymers, for example, lignin. So then uh, through this uh, selective uh, collaborate, so we can get like uh, the uh, these monomers from these biopolymers. So that can be utilized as a, uh, as I say that, like uh, as a, um, um, as a petroleum based uh, alternatives. So 
in this way, we can add the values to the current power refinery system and minimize the uh, energy and the material input. So another aspect of my research mainly focus on the functionalization of resource materials like sanonos, chemsanos, chitosan, lignin. So to produce these materials, like including the uh, smart sensors, smart fertilizers for nutrients recovery and food security, and the membranes for water treatment and the monitoring. So I would like to use some examples. Like I made some like smart sensors, so this can leverage the. Uh, Bio-based uh, materials to create integrated monitoring system for environment, uh, like uh, what's the uh, pollutant, like heavy metals in the environment, and the food spawnage. What's the food spawnage never? How can we trace in the uh, food properties and the nutrients tracing in the wastewater system as well? So. Um, so uh, finally, um, so. All these functional materials, uh, we're trying to serve this serve as the backbone of a more resilient and resource efficient uh, in food, water, energy nexus application. Um, by integrating these solutions, um, we can mitigate the strain uh, of the finite resources uh, while boosting the global food security and access to clear water and energy. Thank you.